Hi everybody, it's Honest John uh, again. Well, once again, the Catholic Church is in the news, uh, and not for good works. Uh, matter of fact, it's been a long time since any church has been in the news for the good works that it does. This time, it's uh, in vitro fertilization. Uh, two Catholic schools in the United States have fired teachers who got in vitro fertility treatments. So here we have women who desperately wanted children and were willing to go to a lot of expense and trouble to do that and the church condemns them as sinners. Now since in vitro fertilization is a new scientific method there is nothing in scripture dealing with it, one way or the other. But the Catholic Church is against it, and their logic is, well, completely illogical. They say that in vitro fertilization is a violation of the child's right to a relationship with its mother. This is because the fertilized egg spends some time in a petri dish in a lab before it is implanted in the mother. However, without in vitro fertilization, there would be no child to have that right. There is no way you can read the church's reasoning on this without either bursting out laughing or shaking your head in, in bewilderment. Their logic is so twisted and tortured, it just makes no sense at all. One thing is very obvious, that no women were asked for their opinion when the church was deciding this. As a former Catholic and seminarian, I can tell you firsthand that many of the Catholic Church's teachings are demented. Maybe that's because so many of the decisions have been made by men who suffered from dementia. When you allow senile old men to decide things, you can't expect them to make sense. What it all comes down to is the Catholic Church's fear of the vagina and its desire to control it at all costs. Women, you don't get to decide if you want children or if you don't want them. That is the Pope's decision. If you want children and you act on that, you're a sinner. If you don't want children and you act on that, you're a sinner. It is a huge game of pussy roulette. Meanwhile, more priests in the U.S. are being investigated for child abuse. Maybe the Catholic Church should worry less about controlling women's vaginas and more about controlling their priests' dicks. Thanks for listening.